Yeah, good afternoon. Dan, Midwest Technical Sales. Uh, Richard behind the camera. We're going to do an overall orientation on a Power Vault uh, TL2000. The TL4000 is just a little bit bigger, 48 slots instead of the 24. But we really like this unit an awful lot for a number of reasons that I'm going to go into. Um, one of the things that we really like about the unit is its interchangeability of parts. I'll get over to the rear of the unit so you can see what we're talking about. On this particular unit here, um, you can easily remove the power supply by taking out these two screws here, power supply comes out. In the event you need another power supply, we can sell you one, you can order one from us. The drive itself comes out with these four screws here and it pulls out. You'll see this is a full height LTO3 drive. SCSI. Let's say you wanted to upgrade to something else. Let's say you wanted to go to an LTO4 SAS drive. Well, you can pull this particular unit out and with the half height drive you can put two of these drives in. Uh, with the full height drive you only can put one in. So if you need to upgrade, you want to go to something with more capacity, it's very easy to upgrade. Another thing you uh, also from the rear is the I.O. board. Uh, this is the main logic board in there. Something happens to that, you have a power surge, whatever. This pulls out and you can slide in a new I.O. board. This particular slot here is it's a blank slot, but it's reserved for an iSCSI module. So if you wanted to run iSCSI on this, put the module in and you can be in an iSCSI mode. Some of the interesting things about this also, um, this here is a little picker lock and what it does, it goes into this slot in the picker through a hole in the cover. Now it's very important to save the picker lock because if you move the unit around, you'll see that this picker moves, okay, and it can get in all kinds of different positions, you can bang it around, library won't be happy. Most people take out the picker lock and throw it away. Um, Dell realized you were going to do that so they put a little place to put the picker lock right here. So I encourage you, if you ever want to move the unit, put the picker lock in, but always store it here. The other thing that if you have a need for an emergency magazine release, we use these particular items that are on top of air cans. It just happens to work out really well. There's a little hole down in the corner here. You push that in and the magazine slides up. Okay, so it's very simple to get the magazines out. Um, it's not a big deal. You can go through the front panel and get them out. The other thing is uh, we have a video out um, on checking the nuts that hold this particular magazine together. Quite frequently they fall out. When they fall out, the magazine itself destabilizes a lot, and you can see if it's trying to read the barcode with the picker that it might not um, read the barcode properly. You'll know, have an issue. The other thing that happens is that this has all the, you know all of these slide in very easily. Once these things um, lose their stability, you might get one jammed in there and it, it can't get out. So you're going to have problems with that. But you can check, the video is called, I think, it's Check check Your Nuts. It's on the uh, uh, TL2000. also applies to the HP and a few other units itself. So this is what the unit looks like inside. I'll just flip it up here a little bit so you can see. We've got power supply, tape drive, I.O. board, place for the iSCSI, and the picker goes up and down here. Um, picker elevates a little bit. You've got three uh, media uh, stacked on top of one another. So it, it elevates it, reads it, comes back over here, flips around, goes forward, puts it in the tape drive. Okay, So it's relatively simple. Um, sometimes these pickers go out for, for most likely because it's, it's, it's a contaminated environment. You've got dust, you've got dirt floating around there, and it's, uh, it sometimes will chatter when it goes up and down. So we encourage our customers to listen for a picker chatter when it's going up and down. It just doesn't sound right. Something's wrong. Um, in that event, you'd be further ahead in sending that unit in. Just let us clean the picker, lubricate the picker, and go from there. 
let's say your picker does break, okay, which it can happen. Uh, at this point, with the unit all uh, disassembled, all you'd have to do is take two screws out of the bottom and remove this front bezel. The picker will slide all the way out, okay, for easy removal. There's a couple of uh, little cables over here that you have to hook up. But you could theoretically replace this picker yourself if you're somewhat mechanically inclined um, to do it. Most people, you know, they, they might, might want some preventive maintenance done and uh, send it in to us for repair. Um, if there's any other uh, questions you can have, feel free to get a hold of us at midwesttechnicalsales.com uh, or repairmytapedrive.com. And several of our customers have referred to us as the LTO capital of the world when they tour our facility. Uh, we have uh, hundreds and hundreds of LTO drives in stock. We repair and sell hundreds and hundreds of LTO uh, tape drives a month. And in the Dell world, we probably have uh, 30 of these units in stock between testing, uh, repairs for customer, purchasing product and selling it. I know we go through uh, pretty close to a thousand of these a year. So we're very familiar with this product line. If you purchase, purchase, purchase it from us, we'll also provide tech support to help you going with that. Again, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching uh, the video. Again, Midwest Technical Sales, MWTSS.com or repairmytapedrive.com. Thank you.